Hi, Mark Anthony here with Melody Prettyman again, and let me tell you, she has got a cheese recipe that I have never done before. And what exactly are you doing with rice? Well, I'm eliminating fat. And I, am look, I was really looking for a cheese sauce recipe, which my old one was really great, mm -hmm. but it had cashews or it had almonds, so the nuts were fattening. And a lot of people don't realize that when you are um, trying to lose weight, you're trying to eliminate fat, cholesterol, that especially for somebody who's overweight and maybe have an eating problem, uh, nuts are a trigger food. So I wanted to come up with a recipe because I love cheese sauce that didn't have the fat in there. So I designed it with brown, cooked brown rice and a potato. <laughs> wow. Now I, every, I do the cheesy sauce with potatoes and carrots, mm -hmm. but I've never done one with potatoes and rice. So this will be a whole new experience for me. So you're, we're, we've got the Vitamix, you need a blender. If you do not have a Vitamix, just puree until it's as silky as possible. There's nothing okay. worse than a cheesy sauce that's gritty. No, 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 can't have that. Right, so just dump and pour, you're just gonna- Everything's dump, going in here. Everything's going okay. in there. Mm -hmm. So let me just, you can hand me what's next and... And we're gonna do some potato. So is that about equal parts and... It, it is. That was a really big potato okay. and nutritional yeast flakes. This is our cheese flavor okay. and it's our B12. You want all this in there? All of it, okay. I want all of it. That's about a half a cup there. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and you'll have the exact recipe on your website? I will have it on my we uh, website. They can go right there and get it. Okay. This is for color and it's also good for flavor. Fire roasted red bell pepper. Yes. And that is your cornstarch corn or arrowroot powder, whichever you want to use. Okay. Onion powder. Okay. Tablespoon of that. Tablespoon of the onion powder. And let's see, Mark, we also want some lemon juice and salt. How much you want in there? Uh, you want to put about a tablespoon in there. Okay. It, it, you know, salt is your preference. Okay. So if you're on a low salt diet, add low salt. If you're on a no salt diet, no salt. If you like lots of salt, put in what you want. Okay, you're gonna need some water in here too, so I'm gonna yes, you are. say you when. Have to, should I just say when for you? No, you keep going. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> now, if you were using nuts, uh, keep going. I uh, put your water to about right here. Oh, okay. If you were using nuts, Mark, mm -hmm. you, would, you would want the least amount of water as possible because you want to puree those nuts. Well, we don't have, it's not as hard here. Yeah, and you got the starch in there for a thickening agent anyway. Yes, we do. And that's your lemon juice. I, fresh is best. I use one lemon. That's a whole, okay, whole lemon. Whole got lemon. it. And we're going to, it's going to take a few minutes, but we're going to blend this and get it all creamy. You want it creamy? Creamy. Okay. That looks good, Mark. See how creamy that looks? Yeah, and you want it. And every blender is going to be different depending on the make, your blender, how uh, the horsepower in it, but you want it that very creamy, silky consistency. Tastes good. And, and the nice part about this too is, see, this is a thinner. This is thinner than my cheese sauce. Because well, we're I'm, going to thicken it. I'm finishing it in my blender. So people that don't have that high power blender, I don't recommend doing my cheese sauce, but you could do this one. You could. And, and the reason for this, and I might have to add a little bit more water in here as it cooks because that cornstarch or arrowroot powder is going to thicken up. And, and I always say add however much water you want to the thickness that you want your cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. You might want something really thick for a recipe or you want, might want something thinner. It, look how beautiful that is. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the color. So we're going to let that cook. Uh-huh. Ten minutes maybe? Ten minutes maybe. Five, ten minutes? Yes. And whenever you're using arrowroot powder or you're using cornstarch, Stir consistently, you know, continuously on the stove because it will go to the bottom and it'll scorch really easy. So let's let that cook and we'll come back and... Uh, sure. And I'll grab some chips. Chips? Awesome. All right, Mark, we've been stirring here now for about five to ten minutes, depending on the temperature that you want it on on the stove. So it's up to you. And the thickness. I added a little water to it. I this. saw that. To make it the consistency I wanted. And this is just perfect. And I'm going to pour this. Give me just enough time to clean up and. Just enough time. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Velvety. I could eat that. That looks like a bowl of cheddar cheese soup. Yummy. Yes, it's actually velvety. 
It is velvety. And I'm making a mess over here. That's so, okay. I can clean it. I've got some homemade chips here. If you haven't seen our episode on homemade chips, we have that. Mm. How's that taste? Mm. Do you miss the fat? Th no. That's the most important thing. Do you really miss the fat in the recipe? Because the nuts do give this really creamy consistency and that satiety of fat on the tongue. But I've noticed, I use this in most every recipe, macaroni and cheese, my cheesy au gratin potatoes, my cheesy grit bake, uh, homemade polenta bake in the morning. I do it for almost every cheese recipe that I make. Wow, wow. I can see where people might want to tone down the red pepper. I like red pepper, so this I do fits too. me perfect. Um, but you can probably do some adjustments. Uh, every recipe is that way. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we try to give you just the basics and, and let you adjust from there. But once you got the concept, this right. is the concept that people need. This is it. They can do a, a no fat. No fat. Recipe. They can do that no fat. Now, if you didn't like red bell pepper or you had an allergy, you know, my specialty is allergies. I do a lot of cooking for allergies. Um, I would use carrot. That's what I do. I use carrot, tomato, mm -hmm. tomato is another thing. So you just want to use something to give it the color, the appearance of cheese. Right. So anything that would be in that color that would be uh, for your diet, whatever your diet consists of, then you could use that. I, I like the fire roasted uh, bell pepper the best. Perfect. And we are going to have a couple more recipes that we're actually using this particular item for. So you'll be able to reference on this one anytime on our websites or um, on the um, YouTube channels. So. Yes, and my uh, my website is MelodyPrettyman.com. Uh, my email is MelodyPrettyman at gmail.com if you want to ever email me with any questions or go to my, re my website for free recipes and information. All right, so that's it for this episode and we will see you next time in the kitchen.